today my mom is actually coming to get me and we're gonna go I have to go to a CME kind of boring thing today so I'm gonna be inside for it takes about three hours the the duration of the of the lecture and event so I will be indoors most of that time It'll be very boring and I will not be vlogging there obviously um, but my mom's actually gonna drive me there I'm just like a kid my mom takes me to school <laughs> um, she volunteers to do this I don't ask her to drive me to places but sometimes she I mean she's just a nice person but I think she enjoys driving and importantly she knows I don't enjoy driving so it's a nice it's a nice symbiosis. Um, she's gonna bring Ty B along, I think, and I don't know, maybe they'll go go on some walks and that sort of thing. And then I think probably later we'll come back. It's a bit of a drive, so hopefully we don't hit traffic when we come back. It's a bit of a drive, um, but uh, when we come back, we'll probably just relax and have lunch and see what kind of mischief we can't get ourselves into. But last night I had <laughs> Yet another iHerb haul. You're like, didn't you just order stuff from iHerb? I can't help it. Like, there's certain things on there that I really love and I go through pretty quickly. And then whenever I go to reorder them, I see all this other stuff that I want to try. And uh, so I got some things to try. Um, I haven't tried the um, Moon Juice Papaya. Uh, not papaya. Is it mango or papaya? Papaya slices with Shizandra in them. Maybe we'll try those this weekend or those dulse almonds. I've kind of been saving them. But the new moon juice that I got, the new uh, beauty dust, it tastes really good. I swear it's best when you first get it, the, like the first 15 cups. It's still good after that, uh, but there's something extra potent about the first 15 cups, just in terms of the taste, I'm not entirely sure. I have tried the Shazandra, and it's got a kind of smoky taste to it that I really like. I thought it would be sweet, like a fruit or a berry, but it's more of a smoky taste and feel like what the heck is she talking about last weekend in the vlog i showed a moon juice haul moon juice um powders i like to put in my coffee just they add a fun little earthy fruity taste to things and i enjoy them um, i'd love to go to the actual moon juice shop in person one day i think that would be totally fun um i know you can you can eat there like they have foods and things that you can eat i wonder i wonder what it's like i imagine it's like this tiny little place you probably have to get things to go um, but anyways, let me show you what I got from iHerb. So I'm just about out of the chocolate sweet leaf stevia drops and so I wanted to order some more and I was tempted to get coconut. I've kind of been on a shifting towards more tropical tastes and coconut is a nice transition. I think it goes good with chocolate flavored things as well as fruity flavored things. I'm just a huge fan of all things coconut. Coconut, the actual coconut taste, and then even, even artificial coconut flavoring, I like. Despite how much I detest the concept of tanning oil and that Hawaiian tropic tanning oil stuff, I adore the scent of it. I think it smells fantastic. That coconutty smell, oh, it's so good. Um, I once saw a YouTuber talking about Hawaiian Tropic After Sun um, moisturizing body cream, and they said that it smelled really good. It's not, it's not a tanning oil or anything, so maybe I'll have to try that. Comment below on if you've ever tried it. I'm sure it's laden with fragrance, but I'd really like to know if it was if it smells good. I think it was Anna Sacconi Jolie talking about it, I want to say. You know I've tried the coconut, the chocolate, the vanilla, and I think I've tried the 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 raspberry chocolate sweet leaf drops i got I got adventurous this time and I got lemon drop <laughs> yeah I got lemon drop not because I have any grand plans to make any sort of mock this cocktail or anything but um, I got this because I don't know I was just kind of curious I thought it might be good and just general black tea like like you would make put lemon in tea I thought it would be good and then I thought it might be fun to experiment if I ever do I get a chance to try these teas that I got for Easter. Um, I thought it might be fun to try it uh, in the red rose teas to see, you know, like this blueberry muffin one, putting a few drops of the lemon drop in there, or of course, naturally, the lemon cake. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but I also got it because I've been drinking this. This um, is a tea that I got at H Mart a long time ago and it came in a giant box. I've been trying to make my way through it and I really, really love it. It is corn silk tea or corn tea. It tastes like, have you ever had Pops cereal, that sugary cereal? It tastes like that, I really love that cereal. <laughs> this has that nice um, sweet corn taste, 
uh, without any sugar. Yeah, so I'm sort of curious if the corn tea um, will be good with the lemon drops from the sweet leaf. That might be something I'll experiment with. Then speaking of H Mart, I haven't gotten a chance to go back there in a while. Um, so I went ahead and ordered some more kelp noodles from iHerb. I love these. Um, they're not for everyone, but I really enjoy them in soups. I like that they're just kind of crunchy. I definitely recommend if you ever use these, I definitely recommend giving them a good rinse because they do kind of have a they do kind of have a almost sort of salty taste um, if you don't rinse them well, but I like them a lot. So I got three bags of those. And then I've been wanting to try more of the CauseRx products. So I went ahead and got the Acne Pimple Master Patch. I'm a, hand, I'm, I'm a huge fan of these, as I mentioned in my vlog the other day. They're hydrocolloid dressings. And what I like about them is that they'll cover a pimple up and protect it from ultraviolet light. And they'll also protect it from, from little fingers. So I was curious to order some. Then I also, my mom really loves cookies a lot. Um, she just loves them. And a lot of the cookies that she enjoys are not vegan. So she's kind of been like, <laughs> for a lot of her cookies, she likes um, like pecan sandy. So I got these by Simple Meal Mills. They're gluten-free, vegan, uh, toasted pecan cookies. I just thought these looked really good. I got them to take over to her house because I thought she would enjoy them, but I also got them for myself because I was curious. They, speaking of my mom, she just texted me. They, um, I can't imagine that these are gonna be a substitute for a cookie though, just looking at the ingredients. They're made with nut flour, and then they have tiger nuts in them, which are kind of like a root, veg, a, kind of like a root, almost like a little potato. Tu they're a tuber, that's the right word, they're a tuber. Um, but they only have four grams of sugar and three cookies, so I don't know. I'm not very confident that these are going to be a replacement for any of my mom's um, old, old favorites, but worth a try. Speaking of my mom, we both love Figgy Pops. <laughs> um, in fact, the bag that you can get at Costco is a dangerous purchase. So I don't allow myself to buy Figgy Pops at Costco because I will just eat an insane number of Figgy Pops. And Fig is, uh, you know, not good to consume in mass quantities. Uh, make you a little little woozy. So I got the mini bag of Figgy and their, their Fig, Cranberry, and Pistachio. These are just like little balls of dried fruit, basically and uh, sesame seeds, cinnamon, and uh, they're really good. Then from the same brand, Organic Made in Nature, I got dried pineapple. I was really happy to see this because a lot of dried fruits, they add sugar and like a bunch of other garbage to, and this uh, does not have anything but pineapple in it. And I want to put this in my cauliflower brown rice pudding that I make in the Kosari. I wanna try it that way. Oh, look, it hails from Boulder, I swear. Boulder makes some of the best snacks. Boulder, Austin, or, and Portland, and, um, you know, obviously Cal a lot of places in California have good snacks, but. All right, and then last up, I also ordered some pumpkin seed protein. I know you guys are probably like, didn't you just order protein powder at last iHerb haul, like less than a few weeks ago? Yes, but the reason that I like this pumpkin seed protein is that it doesn't, it's not flavored. And I've been trying it out recently. I got a care package sent to me recently that was very thoughtfully put together with some gifts that included this pumpkin seed protein. It was a different brand, um, but I really enjoy throwing a scoop of this into soups. It makes them creamy and adds a little bit of protein. And all it is is just organic pumpkin seeds that they pulverize. Um, it has... In one scoop, it has nine grams of protein, and um, so I've been enjoying it that way. It makes things really creamy. Yeah, it's really good in like um, like crock pot soups and stuff to just throw a scoop of that in if you want to make like like almost a cream of soup. Use this um, as a vegan replacement for like cream of mushroom soup. Just use this. It doesn't taste like pumpkin. Uh, it has a slightly nutty taste, so it's really good that way. I find, you know, most protein powders are dessert oriented. There's really a paucity and dearth of savory oriented protein powders. I think they should come up with that like, like, like an Italian spice blend that you could make pizza crusts out of and stuff like that, or a Thai spice, um, a Bombay one. You could make little, little flatbreads and things. I don't know why they haven't come up with this. It's all chocolate, vanilla, cookie dough. Okay, how much dessert can we eat? We need food.
<laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna put all this away and I will check with you later. We just got back from the talk that I had this morning, and uh, it, was too, it, it was pretty good actually. So um, there wasn't any traffic going there or coming back. It's kind of cold out though. They had the air conditioning cranked up in the room, and when you have to be sedentary for three hours with only one or two little leg stretch breaks, the air conditioning is just intolerable. So I have one of my my uh, skin detox green teas that I am incubating from the yogi tea over on the stove. And I think my mom just went to change her clothes, but he he has hey a everybody. happy Saturday. He got a hold of a uh, Ricola cough drop wrapper. He's gotten bigger. Every time I come here, he gets bigger. Yeah, I, I really am amazed. He outgrew his harness. Yeah. I had to get him a new one, and it's much better. I like it. It's uh, yeah. It's not so. Uh, doesn't put as much pressure on his trachea. <laughs> what belongs to you shall come to you. That's my, that's my yogi rose. tea wisdom for the day. The uh, soothing rose hibiscus skin detox. No, you don't need a skin I detox. Although, skeet, speaking of doggy skin, yeah. somebody brought up, do we put sunscreen on Thai B? But I was doing a little bit more research about it, and you know, dogs can obviously get uh, non melanin skin cancers, and vets do recommend putting sunscreen on. But apparently, you have to avoid those sunscreens that have zinc in them because zinc, I guess, is toxic to dogs if they ingest it. Oh, really? Yeah. So be careful we'll need to get him some kind of special doggy sunscreen. Get near any of mine yeah. that I might leave sitting around. Yeah. Yeah, the website that I was reading, it was a vet that wrote this article, and but the vet made made the mistake. He he wrote, avoid zinc containing sunscreens, but sunscreens formulated for babies are best for dogs. And I was like, well, most sunscreens formulated for babies are zinc based, so I don't know. Yeah. Confusing message, but yeah, zinc based. Yeah, Tybee, you're so cute. Yeah, hippos make their own sunscreen. Did you guys know that they have some kind of oil in their that they put, produce hip, hippopot hippopotami. Wow, that's cool. Hippos. Yeah. Well, they have a huge surface. They have their area. own UV filter, yeah. That gets exposed, so. Yeah. Hey, buddy. But fish can get melanoma. Fish can get melanoma. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Since I've done any cross stitch, we'll see how how successful I am. Well, it's very relaxing. They had the air conditioning on so so high. It's a strategy to keep people awake in lectures. Oh yeah. And it works. When I 
you know, when I was in medical school, I used to purposely uh, turn the air conditioning on and make it really cold so that I wouldn't start dozing. Because <clears throat> you can only, caffeine only goes so far yeah, when, you're, when you're sleep deprived. <laughs> but it's hard to sleep when it's too cold, so. I've decided to work on this I didn't do it cross stitch pattern. We'll see how, how far I get with it before my mom has to take over and finish it. Well, we can share it. I yeah. Think. Yeah, we well, can we'll each work a little bit. I'll let you do the complicated part <laughs> and I'll just do the background. I hope that I don't mess it up. But oh, you He's won't. cute. I didn't do it. Look at what you've done, though. This is so clever. You put each of the floss colors in its own little baggie here and then you put the numeration of the floss, the name, and then the symbol. You have it on a carabiner. That's smart. These look yeah, like special floss bags though. They say floss away. Things, but I didn't have any more oh, of the cool. Yes, they're called floss away bags. Floss away bags. That's smart. Yeah. It probably saves a lot of time and headache. It takes time in the beginning, but it saves it time pays off. throughout the project because these colors sometimes are very similar. Mm -hmm. And you know, you're here, Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So it helps. Looks like we've got, these are snap, sugar snap peas. Oh, why can I never say these? <laughs> sugar snap peas. Is this uh, corn you've got here? Oh, that yes, looks good. I'm yeah. I'm going to throw that in with my black beans. Ooh, black beans. Did you make those in the Instant Pot? I did. The okay. Instant Pot really does beans I really love well. That instant pot. Tell me about it. I um I think I'm going to make some black eyed peas in mine. Cuz the last time I made oh, them in there they came out really good. Yeah, you don't even I don't even have to season them or anything. I just you find know it what I good playing. These potatoes? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, you cook them in the Instant Pot. Uh-huh. I have mine, uh -huh. <clears throat> and then after they do the, the pressure cooking, yeah. you uh, take them out and take the water out and do the saute. So I used a half a tablespoon of uh, avocado oil okay. and sauteed them. Oh, they came out oh, so yeah, good. Oh, yeah, that, that's good. They were like crunchy. So, yeah. That'd be really good with uh, rosemary on it. Yeah. And then you've got these uh, flax yeah. roll up. Oh, cool. Yeah, I see people make a uh, little. I see people make pizzas out of those. Like that, that would be good. I'm going to try pizzas. to make a little roll up for my lunch. Looks good. Oh, monster wrap. That, that looks good. It's, uh, what is this? That flat out wrap? And. It's the leftover chopped salad from Costco. Oh, okay. And that had some flaxseed in it. Mm. And, and then I put uh, black beans and corn, mm -hmm. cucumber, onion, uh -huh. um, pimento, and uh, what else have I got in there? Cucumber. And uh, romaine? Yeah, of course there's romaine. And then what'd you just dust on? I put on some of this uh, chicken Mrs. Dash. I've yeah. never had this. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. I like it. Big surprise, I'm having a salad. <laughs> yeah, just romaine and some of the snap peas, broccoli, carrots, black beans, corn, and some crumbled up rice cake, and some little goji berries and sesame crackers. Looks good. <laughs> You're playing with your dragon? He's got a lot of energy today. <laughs> You need to get a classy pal with that monster burrito. You've got, you've got a, your uh, hand towel in. That's funny. I know. Your because kitchen I know towel. I'm gonna make a mess. Yeah. Why not be prepared? We gotta get you a classy. Yeah. Like, I don't know that I can support that. What? They're handy. My mom's gonna try. I've turned her on to the pitaya chips. Do you like those? Very much. Yeah, they're good, huh? They're delicious. Yeah. They're really good to snack on. So this is what the pecan, the toasted pecan Simple Mills cookies look like. These guys, how are they? <laughs> Just be honest. It's dry. That's what I was anticipating, yeah. Yeah, try and take a bite. They taste like, um, mm, yeah, they have a, they have an aftertaste of a, this is not a cookie. 
It's like um, you're eating flour. Yeah. It, um, it tastes a little bit like a ginger snap, but then it tastes like you're eating a... Yeah, they're powdery like too much flour. Yeah. But I have never made a cookie I didn't like, so... This is They'd be better, I think, with like almond butter or something on them, maybe. Or chocolate. I don't know. Yeah, you could dip them in chocolate. Yeah, I've had this Shazander by itself. It's pretty good. Is that from Beauty of Beauty Dust? It's smoky. It almost tastes like, like meat. It tastes like meat. The Shazandra on, on the papaya, it tastes like meat. I don't know. It's hot. It's good. It kind of tastes like bacon. Try it, please. I thought it tasted like meat. Meaty. You don't like it? I think it's too, uh, I would like it if it were cut in little bits. Yeah. And tossed in something. I think it would be better that way. Yeah, yeah. don't you agree? Yeah, I think so. That just to eat a big hunk of it is a little intense. But uh, I don't get the meat. You don't, don't, maybe it was just, I don't know, maybe I'm having a stroke. No, these are good. You like the Viggy Pops? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're pretty good. Whenever I've sampled them at Costco, I've always liked them. They're cranberry pistachio. Oh, these are good. That's always, that's a win. <laughs> you went in your little bed and had a nap. Now you're rested and ready to run around again like a, like an animal. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> How are you liking your, you got that Leanne Moriarty book? Truly Madly Guilty, is it good? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's a good one. Huh? I'm enjoying it. I'll have to read that it's, next. Uh, she, she writes can, well. She can really weave quite a tale. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I like she it. develops the characters really well. Um, excuse me. That is my toe. Not a, not a doggy bone. You're not, you're not a puppy anymore. Well, you're still a puppy, but pretty soon you'll be a teenager. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of babies, aren't these little plates cute? Flip Side of the Moon sent these to me. Her little boy eats out of these, and I commented that I like them, and she sent me some. Aren't they cute? That's what we had our figgy pops in. That Little Bee book is really good. I think you would like it. Yeah, you know I think mean? I'll read that next. Yeah, it's good. I've got to finish The Shell Seekers. I know, you, I you, you've been putting that off almost for a year now. I know, that's just silly. No. That's very silly. It's Did a good ending. More? Yeah, I made a little bit of progress. Good. I made a tiny bit of progress. Yeah, it's pretty intense. The entire background is, is filled. So I think that will have to be a dual effort. I'm... Anyways, I'm going to head to the gym now, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.